Welcome to La Clinique des Femmes. Today, we're going to go back to the basics and explain to you how to get pregnant. So you already know that our cycle is characterized by two phases, the follicular phase, which is the first phase, and the luteal phase, which is the second phase. In the first phase, you have growth of your dominant follicle in the ovary, which will then ovulate, be taken up the fallopian tube, and if there has been intercourse, this meet the spermatozoa and potentially have fertilization and then implantation. If implantation has not occurred, there will be a menstruation 14 days after your ovulation. Um, so if you make your calculations, you can understand even on cycles that are not 28 days precise, which is the period of ovulation. Once you have identified this period, I advise you to have intercourse before the expected date of ovulation. Why? because ovulation lasts 24 hours. This means that the ovocyte remains fertile for 24 hours. After 24 hours, there is atrophy and there is no longer the possibility of getting pregnant. So you understand how important it is to be able to have intercourse before the moment of ovulation so that the spermatozoa are there to wait for the ovocyte that will ovulate. And if the spermatozoa are of good quality, they can stay in the woman's pelvis for up to 72 hours or even longer. Of course, you can also help by observing other signs such as the cervical mucus, which increases a lot during ovulation. Once you no longer see it, ovulation has passed. And the mucus also changes textures and color, becoming more transparent and more elastic to help the spermatozoa go up. You may also experience breast tension a few days before ovulation and mood changes due to the changes in hormones. Of course, if it's the right time, of course you have spermatozoa going up the vagina, the cervix, and all the way to the wall of the uterus, and then to the tube, and it's at this moment that it intercepts the ovocyte. And if everything goes well, you will have fertilization. Once fertilization has happened, the embryo will come back to the uterus and will implant at the wall. And so, a priori, 14 days after implantation, you will no longer have a period because you are pregnant.